Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef. Today I'm going to show you how to make Hammer Chef's taco ring recipe. I'm also going to show you how to make a delicious avocado dip to serve along with it. As you can see, I've already started browning my meat, so I'm going to use my mix and chop here to just sort of mix and chop um, the ground beef in the pan. I'm going to add some of our carnitas seasoning to this. If you are a new subscriber to my channel, be sure to go to theflipflopchef.com, click the button at the top, and join the recipe community so you have access to this recipe and thousands more. So I'm gonna take um, Pampered Chef's Carnita Slow Cooker Seasoning. I'm gonna measure out about four tablespoons. So I'm making extra ground beef for this recipe. Um, I recommend doing two tablespoons per pound. And actually this is about two and a half, so I'm gonna add in an extra one. Each, uh, every two tablespoons of this Carnita Seasoning is a substitute for a packet of taco seasoning. So if you have a recipe that you love that uses taco seasoning, just get a bottle of our carnita slow cooker seasoning and add two tablespoons to replace that packet. So I'm just gonna mix this up, get this um, nice and incorporated here. I'm using Pampered Chef's nonstick stainless wok for this recipe. Once I get all of this beef browned, I will drain it off in one of our uh, stainless steel colanders and I'll show you guys that in just a few minutes. But you get this going here. I'm gonna have a whole lot longer on this. It smells so good. And if you're not familiar with our taco ring recipe, it is an old school paper chef recipe. And I've had several requests to make a video and want to show you guys how to make it. When you see how quick and easy this is, you're gonna be making this all the time. All right, so almost done. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button while you're here, and then you can enjoy videos of mine all the time. I am a consultant with The Pampered Chef, so if you see anything you like, I'd love the opportunity to help you make a purchase. All right, I think that's all good. I'm gonna turn off my burner. Let me set aside my cutting mat here. We're gonna take our large glass mixing bowl, and I'm gonna just drain off all of uh, the grease from our ground beef. So let me show you what I've got here. I have our large glass mixing bowl. This comes as a set of three. I like to put some paper towels in here and these are bounty so they're um, really nice and thick. So just uh, put three of those in there. And then this is our medium size stainless steel colander. If you don't have this colander set, I highly recommend it. It comes as a set of three. I love that it has a, kind of like a, a raised footprint so that when you put this in the sink, the food is not touching the bottom of your sink. And so it doesn't, your food doesn't get contaminated. All right, so this is our mix and chop. If you've never seen it before, be sure to get one of those. Um, I'm going to scrape off, scrape out all of my ground beef into this colander and strain it into the bowl. You don't have to put the paper towel there, but it does make cleanup a little bit easier. I can just sort of let that cool off and transfer it over into the garbage can. Don't pour the grease down your drain. All right. And I'm just gonna sort of press this out to try to get as much grease as possible. It is a lean beef, so there's not a whole lot. Um, and some of what you're seeing is the, um, just some of the drippings from the carnitas seasoning. I'm gonna transfer this over to my skillet just so I can move this bowl out of the way. And then, I don't know if you remember, but we're gonna make, I'm making, or excuse me, I'm making extra so that I have enough for another recipe for later. Let me show you another product that is really cool. If you wanted to use this to scoop your beef out of your skillet, um, it's a great product. It's called the Scoop and Drain. And so what I'm gonna do, um, I know this is in my colander, but you could do this straight out of the skillet and then that grease would transfer back down into the skillet. So I'm gonna take a big scoop of that, maybe a little, eh, I think maybe that might be good. Let's see how much we have left in there. Um, see how much more I have. And yeah, I think that's pretty good half of the recipe. Okay, so 
what we're gonna do when this beef pulls off in this container, I will just snap on this locking lid and put this in the refrigerator. And this is great to have um, to make tacos, but since this is still hot, I wanna just set it aside. And we're gonna add some shredded cheese over to our beef mixture. And we're gonna use our Flex Plus to shred the cheese. So let's get that out. And if you're not familiar with the Flex Plus, be sure to check out the playlist section of my channel. I have a playlist for the, for the Flex Plus, and it's three cordless appliances in one. We're gonna use the immersion blender and the food processor, but it also includes a hand mixer. So you're gonna use this post with every blade. You don't use more than one blade at a time. So we have a slicing blade that you can use for a thick or a thin slice. We have a grating blade, which you can do fine or coarse. And then we have a chopping blade, which is our multi-use blade. So we're gonna use the grating blade. And I wanna make sure when I look on here that I choose the side that says coarse, this side up. So I'm gonna place this in there. And then I'm gonna put our lid on. Um, I have to keep retraining my brain to put the handle on the left and to turn this the other way. It doesn't wanna fit if I try to do it um, this way. So it took me a minute to kind of figure that out. All right, we're gonna attach our power stick, attach the battery. You do get two batteries with this. They each have a, a battery life of about 30 minutes and in the kitchen, that's a really, really long time. I'm gonna press the safety switch here. I'm gonna increase the speed all the way um, to the highest speed. I'm gonna get the blade started and then start shredding the cheese. no effort at all and if you want to start the blade beforehand you just get a little bit more power um, to get it started but you could just start it off once you put the cheese in I just have learned recently that that works a little bit better all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix in some of our uh, and I'm using pepper jack cheese normally I use a cheddar or a Colby Jack um, but you could use another flavor cheese if you want. I decided to do pepper jack today. And you guys know if a little cheese is good, a lot's better. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And then I need to grab my um, scoop. I failed to bring that over here. So I'll get that in just a second. But I'm gonna show you how to make this um, taco ring. And then I'll show you how to make our um, guacamole getting some chunks in here. The cheese is melting in this ground beef. So I'm just gonna sort of spread that around a little bit. And let's go ahead and add the rest. I know it's more than the recipe calls for, but I always say you have to take the flip-flop chef oath, raise your flip-flop and promise me anytime you cook with cheese or chocolate that you're gonna double what the recipe tells you. Just gonna mix this together and spread out some of these clumps. Since I'm using pre I'm, I'm not using pre-shredded cheese. Um, cheese will clump together and because it doesn't have that cellulose powder. But this is just melting because this beef is so hot. All right, let me get my large scoop real quick. Hang tight. I check my list over and over and over again before I start recording and I almost always forget something. So, <laughs> Alright, this is our um, chip and dip tray. It is part of our entertaining uh, stoner entertaining line and I love using this to make the taco ring because it's just beautiful. It's a glazed piece of stoneware. It has a removable chip bowl so, or dip bowl so you could use this um, with or without it. But for the purpose of baking our taco ring, we're going to take the bowl out and I am going to serve the salsa inside the bowl. And I'm going to take our kitchen spritzer here and just pump the pressure into the bottle so that this will spray like an aerosol can. So let me show you. 
We're going to grease this. Now normal unglazed stoneware, you don't really have to spray very often. I almost never spray them after the first couple times I use them. But because this has that glaze finish, bread product or bread recipes will stick. So you want to make sure that you use spray this. Uh, release the air out of your kitchen spritzer. I call it burping the bottle, burping the baby. And then put your cap back on and store this somewhere over the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, in a cabinet, every, anywhere is fine except over the stove. You don't want the, the moisture or the condensation rising up. All right, we're gonna take two packs of Crescent Rolls. I do like Aldi brand. If you guys are new to my channel, Aldi is my jam. It's my favorite grocery store. It saves me so much money. And it's another reason to join my recipe community because I share so many tips about shopping at Aldi. And I like their brand better than Pillsbury. I feel like it's easier to work with and oh, so I'm gonna go this way. I just like the taste better. All right, so we're gonna sort of lay these triangles out in a sunburst pattern and we'll get the other package opened and lay it out and then we can reposition these if we need to, if we need more space. <clears throat> just to make sure that they all fit. Okay, so there's one package. My hands are now really greasy. I should have opened this before. Let's see if I can do it. These are also a lot easier to open than Pillsbury brand. So that's another reason to like these. I usually don't have to hit these on the counter. <laughs> what is your favorite ring recipe? So if you are a Pampered Chef fan, then you know we have been making rings since the 90s and we have so many different variations. In fact, um, if you click the shop button on my channel, you will be taken to my website and you can search, there's a recipe section there, and you can search for ring recipes and you will find like our chicken enchilada ring, the taco ring, a turkey ring, which is actually the same recipe but made with turkey. And I'm just going back and kind of filling in the gaps. Remember I mentioned that earlier? We have a ham ring, there's a Florentine chicken ring. There are so many great ones to choose from. All right, now that I kind of have my sunburst, I'm gonna kind of press all these together. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. It's always best to have dry, clean hands when you're cooking, especially if you're doing anything with a knife, um, but it just makes the whole process easier. All right. I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees and this is going to bake for 25 to 30 minutes so you won't see the finished product on camera but I will post pictures in my recipe community and if you are not a member I mentioned this earlier sorry if you're if you get tired of me telling you where to go to get the recipes but go to the flipflopchef.com and click the button at the top to join the recipe group. So we'll scoop all of this out. I'm using our large stainless scoop. scoop. There are three different size scoops. Um, we have a small, which is a melon baller size. We have a medium, which is like your standard cookie size. And then we have this large, which is like a cupcake and muffin scoop. Now I'm gonna go in. I still have some beef here, so I'm gonna sort of fill in some of these gaps. Then I'm gonna show you how to wrap this up to make a taco ring, try a little bit more in here, let me scrape the sides down. Now if you guys have any questions for me, just use the comment section, reach out to me anytime. I love hearing from you guys, if you're enjoying the videos, if there's something that you would like to see, and of course if you need to purchase anything, as a consultant with The Pampered Chef, I do earn commission on the products that I sell and I would love the opportunity to help you. All right, so let's wrap this ring up and get it in the oven, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the avocado dip. So we're gonna take each of these points to these crescent rolls, and I'm gonna just pull it over and sort of tuck it under, okay? So each point comes over, and you tuck it under. Some of you guys have seen the turkey cranberry wreath that I have showed you guys how to make before. That's just another one. So we have so many different ring and wreath recipes. <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you a trick. 
Now, if your ring is not in a good circle, if it's lopsided, I'm gonna tuck all this extra stuff that's fallen out in, you can pull apart. So like, look, you can pull away all the way around and you can straighten out your ring so you expose the beef in between each section and make it more of a circle. So don't stress. You can always fix that at the end. And we're gonna put this in the oven, 375, for 25 to 30, 30 minutes. So let me put that in the oven and start my timer. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to make the avocado dip. So hang tight one second. Okay, so I'm gonna use Pampered Chef's um, clock timer here and I'm gonna set this for 25 minutes and then we'll check it. And the really cool thing about this timer, so it has a clock feature, but it also has four timers. So you see T1, T2, T3, T4. Um, it's not talking about vertebrae. <laughs> this is um, timer one, two, three, and four. So I've set my timer. It also has a clock and um, you're gonna absolutely enjoy that. There's a magnet on the back, so if you wanna put it on the refrigerator, you can do that, or you can um, clip it on your apron or your pocket. So lots of choices there. Now, I did make some homemade salsa in a previous video, and so you can find that on my channel to see how to make the salsa in the Flex Plus food processor, but we're gonna fill up this bowl for with our salsa so that we can put this in the middle of our chip and dip tray after the taco ring has cooked. And you can see, I love my leak proof containers. They have buttons on all four sides or closures on all four sides. So that'll be ready to go. Let's make our avocado dip. Um, let me grab a dryer towel here. All right. This one is a little wet and I wanna dry one. Okay, so now let's make our avocado dip. We are gonna use the immersion blender, my avocado tool, and our guacamole seasoning, which is something that you can get from Pepper Chef. And we're gonna add some of our salt and pepper. So this is super easy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start out with one cup of Greek yogurt, and you could use um, sour cream if you prefer. So it's just a preference. Sour cream is gonna be more fattening, Greek yogurt's gonna be a little less fattening. So I've got one cup measured out in our um, Easy Read mini measure all cup. So this is the one cup size. You pull the plunger down to the measurement you want, pack it, and then you just press it out. So I'm gonna scrape off the Greek yogurt and then we're gonna add two tablespoons. And where did I put that? Here we go. Two tablespoons of Pampered Chef's guacamole mix. You use one tablespoon per avocado, and I'm using two avocados, so it's really easy. I'm gonna add some salt. This is Pampered Chef's coarse Himalayan sea salt, and our peppercorn medley. And you can actually um, grind the peppercorns and grind the salt in our deluxe cooking blender and uh, store it in containers so that you can actually measure it out um, as you're cooking if you want to. All right, I'm gonna take this half of a lemon. This one I is left over from another recipe, so it's been zested, but I'm not gonna put zest in this. We're gonna get the juice in there. And this is our citrus press. And now we just need to add our avocados. So I'm gonna show you um, our avocado tool. So there's a knife on one side, and then there is a, a pit removal on the other. Be careful that the uh, sharp side never goes uh, you know, towards your hand when you're scooping out the avocado out of the flesh. Um, always use the dull side for that. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the knife side, move this out of the way, and I'm going to cut the avocado apart and then take the pit removal. So I can just pop that out. And then what you're gonna do next, you're gonna use the dull side, okay? Don't use the sharp side or you're gonna have to get stitches. So we're gonna take the dull side, toss that in here, And I got a little piece of um, skin, so I'm gonna pop that out. 
And we're gonna do this again, all right? So you're gonna take the knife side, just cut all the way around, twist this, and then we're gonna use the, the pit and seed removal there, just pop that out. And then now you're gonna flip it around, take that dull edge, scrape out your avocado. If you wanna skip the Greek yogurt and sour cream options um, and leave the lemon juice out, you can. Um, I like adding it in. And you can just use um, two avocados and two tablespoons of our guacamole mix. And that's it if you wanted to just make, um, just to make guacamole. So this is kind of like an avocado dip. So it's a little bit creamier. I'm gonna use my Flex Plus immersion blender here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your immersion blender base, put the power handle on, put the battery pack on, press the safety switch. I'm gonna increase the speed to the highest and we're gonna just blend this all together. ahead of time and store it in the fridge you could do that so it has this really cool lid just put that on the top put it in the fridge but I'm gonna pour it into the sandstone color bowl so this goes with um, the entertaining set isn't this so pretty it's such a pretty color and it's super smooth because we added that Greek yogurt and the lemon will help it not brown quite as fast so there's our avocado dip. So super easy and I love this. I love making the extra ground beef because I get a whole additional meal or several meals out of it. So you've got your salsa, your avocado dip, you have your ground beef and you just grab some tortillas or some hard taco shells or you could use chips and make like mile high nachos. Just pile them up on the entertaining platter. You could do that. Sprinkle your um, beef on there, add tons and tons of cheese, serve it with the avocado dip, salsa, and some more sour cream. So I hope you guys got some great ideas today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.